when I first started, a man told me that the Latino vote was much like the chupacabra. And if anybody who's Mexican understands this, is that it's like a phantom ghost or like a boogeyman. It's always talked about in the culture, but never seen. I think you're gonna get ready to see the chupacabra this year. Just walk right down Main Street. Campaigns know that in 2020, we are going to be the largest non-white voting bloc in this country and that we have the ability to sway the selection. There's a misperception of, of Hispanics being Democrats, but there's a young generation of young conservatives that are trying to change that. They're pro-life, they're pro-family, and they're experimenting on how to use their growing influence. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our president and his family. I've been to the White House maybe over 10 times. And I said, if you break bread with the Hispanic community, you'll find favor that way. I just believe President Trump's gonna get four more years. I love Hispanic. This is the year to kick President Trump out. Ahora si nos quedamos en casa, se lo vamos a entregar al Presidente Trump. The virus is really seriously impacting Latinos and families are really suffering. The risk is that people get so frustrated with government that they choose not to participate. We're doing everything we can to motivate people to vote in the most important election of our lifetimes in November. I don't think that you should talk about the Latino vote without thinking about Afro-Latinos. By overlooking that, we miss an accurate understanding of what the Latino experience is. Locking up other people of color from cages to holding somebody's neck down, we're moving from sympathy to solidarity. Sometimes we feel powerless. I think it's super important to highlight you have a voice. You have a very powerful voice. It might be an angry vote, but it's going to be a vote nonetheless.